Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. We got contacted recently by TCI, you know, the suspension chassis company. They said, hey, we got this truck we want you to shoot. And we're flying the owner and the builder, Freddie, in from El Paso to do this with you. So Freddie just landed from El Paso. Yep. Thank you for coming all the way out and doing oh, no, this welcome. with us, man. So you said you started out, it was a pretty beat up one, right? That had yeah. been sitting outside. Somebody tried shortening the bed and they had a donor bed, you know, the welding was horrible. And I wanted to drive this truck and I wanted to have this truck out. I had envisioned the color, the interior. So what is the color, by the way? Because this it's, really stands out. It's a 1950s Ecuador blue. I'm assuming you worked with TCI on this because it's all TCI equipped. They're showing the truck. I know they were just up yeah. at one of the good guys events over the weekend. This frame was ordered off what they have to offer to any customer. Just two modifications we had to do for this truck the way it sits. Really? Yeah. Well, let's pop the hood and we'll kind of start up here and we'll make our way back on the truck. Nice. Really super clean, man. This is, TCI does stuff like inner fenders and things, right? Is this them or is this you guys? No, we've got help from Venata Fab. Basically anything you need for a C10, he has it available. Okay, obviously I can see you made room to push the engine back a little it bit. We did, it set back five inches. It was meant to be a cruiser, a street truck. The turbo was already on that engine. Okay. I had it there. It just looks really cool. And what's your engine in this? It's a 6.0, it's a Gen 4 Chevrolet engine. We just took it apart, added uh, some internals, a little bit of a lower stroke, and then a stage three cam from Texas Speed, just okay. for boost. It's yeah. meant to take the boost yeah. on up to 7,000 RPMs. What's your power you're making on this? At one point in time, it made 750. We could have gone more, and it's running on 109 unleaded race fuel. Got it. Uh, just to keep it cool for, you know, the boost. Hey, you guys, just wanted to throw out a quick reminder that the Autotopia LA Legends t-shirt is up on the store and available now. ATLAmerch.com. Go get one before they sell out. Because you're out also autocrossing this, right? Yes. Uh, started last year at C10 Nationals. Anybody could do this. Yeah. As you can see, this truck hasn't been painted, hasn't been modified since. It's got over 95 laps now. Transmission, we have a 4L80 with a 2800 stall converter, okay. but I think it's too much at this point. Yeah, it's really cool that you can actually see the suspension and the frame. Yes. Exhaust, yeah. you know, I built it all myself. It's all stainless steel all the way to the back. Oh, really? Yeah. Magnaflow exhaust. It's basically turns to one outlet, you know, because of the single turbo. It's just the Y going all the way out through the back. And you said it's a torque arm rear suspension on this? Yes. Uh -huh. It's a complete frame with a torque arm. Mm -hmm. What's the rear end on this and geared it's, at? It's uh, geared at 373s and it's a uh, Curry. There you go. Yeah. All good stuff that's on here. I mean, that's... Oh, yeah. What's the name of your shop? It's uh, Dry Bottle Collision. And did you guys do 100% of this in-house or is there, do you outsource like interior? The, or? the only thing we did on the interior, the seats were stitch by stitch concepts. The rest of the interior was done in-house and mm -hmm. we put our ideas together and made things happen. Now I noticed manual brakes and, and I can't remember who had just said it a few minutes ago, you just recently removed the boosted brake and you went to manual. Yeah, I had a hydro booster. I mean, you would just happen it and your face wanted to go against Too much brake. It's just a lot. It, Whose hood hinges are these? These are those really- Those are CDF racing. Just very cool. What size is the turbo on here? It's a 76 millimeter by Precision Turbo. It's worked very well. What are the wheels? I had the opportunity to work with Dave at Forge Line. Okay. My guys, even my wife was like, you're gonna pick that color? And I'm it happy looks what great. it did, you know. You're running a square setup on here, right? Yes, it's uh, 18 by 12 all around. We have a seven inch backspacing on the front and a six inch backspacing. Did I hear right, 315 squared on the tires? Correct. There's no rubbing anymore, you know? Yeah. We did accommodate that prior to a race at C10 Nationals, you know, we're pulling the fenders manually. Everybody got scared and you see it on the line, it does have imperfections, but it's from the metal. Mm -hmm. It's been dolly, but it doesn't have any filler. What are these from? 2015 Ford Mustang. That's a really cool choice though, man. The bumper up here, you see, so yeah, that's tucked in, right? Tucked you in. Cut and... Yeah, tucked it in about three inches. Did you guys make this? No, or... the call hood has the slant pitch on it. Mm -hmm. Being a 70, this trucks were more squared on on the front, mm -hmm. but they do have it out there towards, got the look like a 67, 68, mm -hmm. but it's still, if you see at the, at the grill, it's still the 70. 
Now from Hot Rod Innovations, we have this grill that makes it look like a 67, 68. So it gives it that look, so it's a hybrid of both. You know, you get a little bit of two worlds and then you have the whole frame for the grill off the 70. So this is integrating 70 and then 67, 68 all into one grill piece. Correct. Everything about it looks right. I mean, this truck, even the cowl hood, some guys might done wrong. That could be awful. It blends in very well. Looks, the way they stamp this metal, it's just yeah. it makes it look like it belonged there at one point. So no bumper at all on the back then. Just the roll pan. You said somebody had started to shorten the bed. Cause, so this was initially a long bed truck. The bed that they had for that truck was a long bed. The original chassis was a short bed. Didn't do a good job. Yeah. So did you correct their bed or did you no, buy? This is a brand new bed for ah. all metal direct. Everything's on point. There's no yeah. filler on this bed. And then you raise the floor? Six and three quarters. That's the only modification we had to do. Why? Because we still wanted to keep the steel floor. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it forgave us and it gave us enough gap to not modify the tubs. So these are stock size so, tubs. And they just fit right on it. No kidding. Yeah. I like this too. Your wing? It gives a character. It's there just on point to, you know, make it a little bit different than the other ones. I agree. I love your... Ex it's on the Wait, other side. It's, oh, so it all comes out to yeah, it's this side. So you're going all eight down to one coming out. Yeah. And when we're going to launch it and we're going to put it on their boost, we have cutoffs and we just let it breathe. All right, let's go check out your interior. This is really a slick truck, man. Bitch and see, what are the seats? TMI seats, we just went ahead and uh, reupholstered them. Okay. To our color. Is this also TMI door panel? No, those, those panels were designed by us and made in house by us. Very cool. Also, the dash pad, we made it blend in with the doors. We added the same schematic as you could see on the doors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they go together really well. Can I key on to see your Holly light up? Uh, yeah, it's just a switch. We have a race setup, so you know. Just Is it this switch here? On. Yep. Sparky mode off. Nice. I like how it's set in like that. Did you build this structure for it to sit yes, into? To sit in. Uh, uh -huh. Everybody usually now using the 12.3 Holly Pro Dash will have to drop their steering column two inches. I didn't want to do that, so I recessed the whole screen back about an inch and a quarter. You know, as it is, it's it's kind of a tight cabin here. It is. Yeah. I mean, that's anytime you're in a single single cab. Yeah. You know, and if you touch the iPad, it's and then you can scroll down the controls. So that's uh, resto mod air technology. You know, it's it's pretty rad. Oh, that's super cool. To select your Dig your, that. your vents, speeds, and temperatures. They're you know, man, I know vintage air is a go-to for everybody. I got nothing bad to say about the company. Resto Mod Air is crushing it with the look of their vents. Yes, that design, you know, they're both really good and they're both uh -huh. from Texas. That's the cool thing about it. Yeah, this is bitching, dude. This is... Oh, the parking mode's on, just in case you didn't know. Did you guys build this center console as well? Yes. You did. I love the carpet you guys did in here. Like square the German weave. square weave, exactly. right? Exactly, German yeah. off the Porsche. And That's right, yeah, man. It's hard to believe that you did this in two months' time. It was in two months. They're very talented. Yeah. You know, it's it's just that. Obviously. I painted the truck myself, even though Richard's a really good painter. He stopped me a lot over the years. Yeah. But, you know, I said, every time I build something, I got to do something by myself. You know what I gotcha. mean? Gotcha. Like right the exhaust, on. you know, putting it together. You need help. You know, you can't say, I built this thing by myself. For sure. You know, you need the for help. For sure. Hey, guys, real quick before we go for a drive, big thanks to my friend at ariappraisal.com. Ari appraisal, if you've never had an automotive appraisal done, I highly recommend you get it done. Be it on your collectible, classic, or something you drive every single day for insurance purposes, resale, all the different reasons. Appraisals can be a little bit of a hassle. Ari appraisal makes it easy in that it's all done online, step by step by step, walk you through everything they need. And for a $250 flat fee, you get a fully comprehensive appraisal. So I highly recommend check out ariappraisal.com, A-R-I appraisal.com. Let's go for a drive, man. Turbo, yeah. don't you? Oh, yeah. 
And thanks for taking the time to do this with us, Freddie. I mean, this is really, this is cool. And this is a bitchin' truck. You guys built a beautiful, beautiful truck. I really appreciate it. I mean, to get opportunities like this one is, you know, it's not a lot that we get. really bitching this thing's super cool nice truck yeah it's it's, it's dialed so funny in. you know there's so many companies out there that do chassis and suspension components and depending on who you talk to this guy says all the others suck this is the only one i'd use then this guy i'll say you know what i mean but i tell you what dude i've been in a couple of tci equipped cars and right away i was like well this just feels wonderful you know and all the companies are good but you know when it comes down to like the autocross side you know tci is very passionate about it yeah i trust them very well that they're going to deliver something worth of having you know what i mean something worth of yeah. paying for as well is it a pretty regular for you guys to build c10s like for other customers yeah I bet you make a lot more money doing collision, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, that's that's like custom stuff. It's money slow, but, you know, on on collision and production, you know, on the production side. Is it side, in like a limp mode right now? It's like in total limp mode. Maybe we should pull over and, and uh, shut it off and sh turn yeah, it back on. Yeah, turn it back on. That was the first time ever. I'm glad I'm the first one to almost break his truck. It's okay. Oh, it's just... I just saw a decent that's, amount of white smoke. That's fine. Okay? Yeah, go for it's it. Just cause we're, it. It's just... It's the turbo you seal. Alright, so explain what was going on and what just, because there's a few things. So it's tuned for race fuel 109, which is unleaded. We just put regular 91 pump 90, in 91 there. is going to be running a little bit too lean and it'll just trip the computer because my air flow ratio will start just triggering higher. What it's doing is just protecting the engine from running out of fuel on, on the cylinders. like it's doing a whole hell of a lot better than a, oh, yeah. a few minutes ago custom cars it's always something bro oh yeah it just is still acting up a little weird go figure right on a day you're shooting it's like you've done all these laps in this thing including exactly just, it was just over the weekend up in Pleasanton running here's where I'm gonna leave you guys stay tuned we're gonna be back things might look a little different but we're gonna be back several days later <laughs> hey guys, you might have noticed Freddy doesn't look like Freddy anymore because as we had the issues with the truck before, Freddy had to get back to El Paso and run his business. So we're about, what, a couple weeks ago that happened, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is Jason. Jason works at TCI. Why don't you let everyone know what's been done to the truck since we shot last? Actually, it was Freddy that figured out what the problem was. So the weekend before we brought the the truck down to shoot we were in vegas for muscle cars at the strip and we had quite a few vehicles maybe a dozen vehicles there everybody yeah. had their own fuel jugs 
yeah. We brought this truck for Freddy. We had it at our shop, so he flew in to run muscle cars at the strip, which meant he didn't have his own fuel jugs. So he just randomly grabbed the fuel jug, threw it in. Turns out it was leaded. It destroyed the O2 sensor. Oh, got it. Okay. So the EC was just freaking out. It, it didn't know what to do fueling wise. Got it. The, the little hose that we had off the turbo, that was not helping. So for those that are familiar with like a manual boost controller, it, it essentially the line coming off the turbo going to the bottom of the wastegate had a hole in it. It had rubbed on the turbine housing, put a hole in it. So essentially we were running more boost than we should have. So that combined with the O2 sensor, not what was going on. That's why you had the drivability issues. So got it, got it. We so you fix the, the hose. Yeah. You get the right fuel in it. Yeah, replace the O2, O2 sensor. sensor in it. Yeah. I know. Right before we shot, it had been a boosted brake on here. Freddie went to a manual, but you guys didn't have the right master, so you weren't loving. Yeah. So you weren't loving your brake input. So we were die hard. We we took a 15 16 with us to Pleasanton, good guys, and the plan was to swap it out there. The weather didn't really agree with us. So the day that we had Friday setup day, it, it poured down rain all day. They'd had other complications too. The, the the Willwood Master has a couple options on plunge depth. We weren't able to get the 15 16 on it. So it's got a one inch now, which is a lot closer. Now I actually have a little bit of pedal feel versus before. Nice. And you said you were gonna still maybe do some adjustments on the proportioning front to rear because you haven't really yeah, Gotten so it, yeah. the first time we get her up to speed, I might stand on the brakes and just see where we're at. Okay, good to know. Yeah, it's definitely running like a different truck, dude. Well, it gets after it, I feel it. And I know you weren't all the way in it. I remember specifically Freddie saying that at the time we shot it, it had done 95 autocross laps. It's been driven. It's been driven a lot and hard and been very reliable. It was interesting taking the truck to Pleasanton Good Guys. We had in the booth and it was bringing people in all weekend long and, yeah. it, and ended up winning one of the top truck awards that weekend. Oh, nice. The, the general consensus is they come up, they see the truck, it's a gorgeous color, they like the Ecuador blue, and then they're amazed to hear that Freddie actually beats on this thing. Which I absolutely love. He really never intended, I don't think, for it to be that, but he built the truck. You know, like you said, he took it to Dino's, showed up at C10 Nationals in Texas with it. He was chomping at the bit to go autocross it. So he goes uh, out and does a couple of laps in the truck, and dude, he got bit. So he's now building two other trucks just to autocross. He's hooked. Yeah. So we, we call him Fast Freddy now. So that was literally his first autocross, and now he's just out there running SCCA in the Pan Am area, the, the western part of Texas. Yeah, so I love that. He, he's all in. Whoa. Dude. Yeah, this is a different truck than it was. Yeah. Man. I'm gonna get after the brakes real quick, so. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. Front tail. He was just checking the brakes, we're good. <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> you gotta warn me before you do <laughs> stuff like that, Jason. <laughs> These are Love brand it. new autocross Yokohamas on the on the truck. This is super and he, sticky. 500 bucks a piece. He literally just said, you know, go for it. I love that. Given what you guys have done with it already and how it feels from the passenger seat on the road, I'm not super familiar with TCI stuff. I gotta admit, I've, I've been in TCI cars, but I've been in you shot quite a few. so many of the other brands that everybody recognizes. And the TCI stuff is obviously no joke. He's like, if I hurt the engine, I'll just 
rebuild it, build something bigger and better. <laughs> what a great attitude to have, man. It's, I love the guys like that, dude. It's just, I'm so used to a different breed where they've spent, you know, house money yeah. building something that's just a stunning award winner. And it's trailer, 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 trailer. You know what I mean, man. This thing's bitching. Yeah, this thing's slick. There's just nothing like, for me personally, and I know there's stuff that'll go faster, and da 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 like whatever you want to call it. There's nothing like a big... There's nothing, whoa, brakes are working. There's nothing like American V8 for me. You know, it's obviously, it's what makes the car world, I think, so interesting is you got the Lambo and the Ferrari guys and you got the hyper, hyper, hyper car guys and on and on and on. JDM, there's so many, so many elements to the automotive space. The American V8 just, man, it just, it just does it for me, you know? And he made this thing, I mean, this truck, like if it was a trailer queen, I'd understand it. I wouldn't like it as much, but you'd understand it because look at how beautiful this damn thing is. I mean, it's bitching. Jeez. Boy, you really feel it going into the turn, dude. It just grips. Really glad this happened today. Big thanks to Jason and TCI for sorting the truck out, bringing it back. Obviously, it was very simple stuff that Jason explained. And now we get to show you what this truck's about. Because yes, it looks beautiful, but it's not a trailer queen. 
far from it. This thing gets autocrossed, it gets driven, and I absolutely love that we got to show you this truck in its proper light. So as always, you guys, a big thanks for hanging and watching what we do. I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later.